In less than nine hours, voters will start heading to polling sites to cast early ballots for the May primary ahead of next Tuesday. At your local election headquarters, we have all the races covered. Including one of the most heated contests, the Republican mayoral race. Wayne 15's Tony Sandlaben talked to a political analyst to get his take on the negative campaigning and early voter turnout. Tony? Yeah, Dirk and Tara, satellite voting means some polling places will be open tomorrow and you can go there and cast your ballot even if it's not your listed polling place. With this being a municipal primary, political analyst Andy Downs says turnout will be lower compared to the midterm primary like what we had last year. But as far as negative campaigning, Downs says there's a simple explanation for that too. If negative campaigning didn't work, they wouldn't use it. As voting for the Indiana primary opens, Prominent races like the one between Republicans John Crawford and Tim Smith are heating up. I've never had a candidate be that mean-spirited and malicious as those ads. This ad is about informing and educating voters as to the differences between John Crawford and me. Political analyst with the Mike Downs Center for Indiana Politics, Andy Downs, says there are some important takeaways from ads like the one Tim Smith released about John Crawford. The stuff that some people refer to as negative is actually information dense. It's some of the best information that we can get. It's quite often cited in the commercial, so you can go look up the original source. And that makes it, in many respects, very helpful. Satellite early voting starts tomorrow after about a month of early voting already. This year, there is no Trump versus Hillary or Braun versus Donnelly. So what does get people to come out for an election like the one coming up on May 7th? But when it comes right down to it, what most people experience on a day-to-day -day basis are local issues. Are potholes getting filled? Is garbage getting picked up? What's happening in terms of economic development in your community? Does the fire department show up? These are the things that people notice on a day-to-day -day basis and really, in many respects, might be in the best position to have an informed opinion about. There are four polling locations, the Russo Center, Indiana Wesleyan Fort Wayne, Ivy Tech Coliseum, and the Public Safety Academy. They'll be open tomorrow through Friday from 8 to 8, and Saturday only the Russo Center will be open from 8 to noon. You can find more about early voting and on the primary on Wayne.com. Live in studio, Tony Sandlaven, Wayne 15 News.